KFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down up, up, up 345 at 34,756, attempting to break this inside track resistance area. Wow, if we could start to trade in the 34,850s, that would be fabulous. In the high today so far, 34,840. And uh, it needs 100 points to move to, to the upside. Let's see what happens. And we're looking at the S&P also doing very nicely, but nothing like the Dow. It's struggling to get uh, away from the 200 period moving average. It's up 51 at 44.42. It needs, really, it needs the 45.55. I'd say even the 45.58 area to say, whew, free from that. Now I can move even higher. QQQs, one, two, three. QQ is doing very nicely at 520 today, 343.93. And what we're looking at here is, and I'll put this together with the ARKK, which is the ARK Innovation Fund. See, it's got a nice move up today, but the weekly chart is still very poor. So let's see, go back to the QQQ and try to compare it because there are a lot of stocks in the, in the ARK that are obviously QQQ stocks. And you can see that it's really important to get a move that at 343, not good enough. You need to see a weekly close about 351, 352 to say, aha, trying to get back to the recent high, and you definitely don't want to break below 335. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, a good move up, it's stuck in a range. Gold is the one that we're watching right now because the commodities are having a bit of a pullback. Uh, gold is down 28 in 1957. Crude oil is down five. Well, now it's down four and a quarter at 103.33, just stuck in a range. It's the TLT I spent some time on in, in my show, the Tiger Technicians are right here at 119.13 with a candle, hopefully a doji candle with a gap up tomorrow. It says, finally, we can get, you remember the, the pattern we looked at yesterday and the day before and the day before, every, this is the pattern that I'm thinking we'll get, is a move up above the channel then into the channel, a bounce, and then maybe come out of the channel to the downside. Will the TBT do that? That's the big question. Right now, I think it's just at a point that says it could pull back, maybe do a retesting of the highs, but this is a key moment for the yields. We'll see what happens. I'm going to hand you over to Larry Pesavento. Wonderful show as always, I'm sure, coming up and technical analysis throughout the day. And of course, you've got Think or Swim, you've got Steve Rose, you've got Dave White, and then Tom O'Brien. I'll be back with Tom later on today. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday.